The brachioradialis is technically a forearm muscle, but it acts primarily at the elbow, making it one of the very few muscles that's origin is above the elbow and insertion is below the elbow without actually crossing the wrist. Because of its unique setup, it is the strongest when the forearm is in a neutral position neutral between supination and pronation. And this is why hammer curls feel so different from supinated or pronated curls. This muscle helps guide the forearm back to neutral from either pronation or supination. Think of it as the mid position stabilizer of the forearm. Its origin is the proximal two thirds of the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus or the long bone of the arm. It also attaches to the lateral intramuscular septum and has an insertion point on the lateral surface of the distal radius near the radial styloid process. It is innervated by the radial nerve, primarily from C5 and C6. Even though it is a flexor, it is still innervated by the radial nerve. Embryologically, it does belong to the extensor compartment. Its primary actions are flexion of the elbow, especially with a neutral hand position, not supinated or pronated. It assists with bringing the forearm back to neutral and contributes to the dynamic stability of the elbow. Exercises that target the brachioradialis include hammer curls, reverse curls, Zotman curls, especially in the lowering phase of the movement, rope cable hammer curls, and a farmer's carry with a neutral grip.